is it recording yes it is welcome to the video guys it's your boy joker gaming and today i'm going to be talking about crosshair placement and i have been waiting to make this video because i don't know when to make it and then i had a lot of comments about how to improve and tips and tricks so a lot of people want to know how to improve and they want to get better and they're asking pros how to do it and a lot of pros don't say anything especially youtube channels you know there's some of them they, they don't even mention it at all and they don't want to help other people get better and i want to help other people i want to grow this competitive scene i want people to you know expand i want more players to come in and get really good and compete at our level so this is a video to help you guys improve and of course I hope you guys do enjoy this is a crosshair placement video I'm going to be making more tips and trick videos if you guys want more of that hit that subscribe button you know to keep yourself updated when I upload a new video and like this video if you really enjoy it so today's video we're gonna be talking about crosshair placement and of course I want to make other videos about devices and maybe you guys want some recommendations on something and and tips and tricks for something else but anyways for this video I'm going to explain to you guys what you guys need to do and how to get your crosshair placement perfect. So let's start off with the settings. A lot of people have problems with it. So let's go into settings and all right. So crosshair size. A lot of people ask me about it. They're like, hey, what's your crosshair size? Why is it so small and the spread is so big or something like that? Um, hit mark is so big. First of all, again, I'm on the iPad and I have my screen stretched out. So it fills up those black bars. If you guys have seen the scrimmages video, it's up and above on your right corner. Actually, your right corner. There we go. Sorry. There is a video of a scrimmage that I did, and it has black bars. And a lot of people were wondering, hey, what the heck is this thing? What is this black thing? I don't like it. I want you to stretch it out. So that is why a lot of people see that crosshair, whenever I shoot, it has a big uh, hit marker spread because of the widescreen. So keep that in mind a lot of people ask that so I'm trying to answer all of your questions on that moving on to the next topic a lot of people ask about crosshair size I keep it as the lowest as possible and it's because I play on a very big device and that helps me see everything playing on a big device helps me see little tiny pixels of people's head popping out and I can easily hit their heads and then playing on a smaller device like for example in Android phone note uh, or iPhone X or whatever you're playing on 7, 6 it's better to keep it a little bit bigger I usually say about 40 to 40 to 50 somewhere about 40 to 50 I would I don't know mess around with it see what you're comfortable with because on the phones it's so much harder to see little tiny pixels to see people's heads so keep that in mind if you play on the phone try to stay away from long range because it's harder for you and it's a lot easier for an iPad player like me for an iPad player, I can see someone really, really far away and easily take them out with a pistol, you know? That's how easy it is. So for phone, you can use a SMG and push up and get close range gunfights. And a lot of pros try to stay away from that. They try to stay away from close range gunfights, especially rank. They try to have long distance fights because they're easily able to win that fight. So keep that in mind. Cross your size for phones or stuff like that, smaller devices, definitely for 45 or 40 it depends on how you feel how you're comfortable with the lower the better all right so i'm gonna go back to crosshair 30 uh dynamic crosshair a lot of people have been asking you know how do you make your crosshair static where it doesn't spread this is to make it not spready this is to make it spread a lot of people ask about it so i'm gonna explain those two things in a bit let's get right into the game of course i want to show you guys in game how to do it so across your placement video, I'm hosting a match. All right. So I'm going to join CT. I'm going to use the M4 for now to show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's say you're in a match. And uh, actually, someone's in Vents Hall. Someone's camping like this with their guns out like this. They're camping like this. You know, they're just chilling. They're playing a rank match. And they're just chilling like this. They're just camping it out once they see you they spray you down whatever like that so what you want to do is you want to work on your crosshair placement so again you want to make your crosshair place where the enemy might be so 
I know for a fact that there's someone right here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your crosshair is, first of all, not like this. Of course, it's going to be a lot easier, but it's better to go slowly like this. Like, it's better to check everything and then pre-fire. Why I say that? Because let's say you're, you're about to run out and do this. Someone might be right here. And I've, I've encountered a lot of pro players that I've played against, scrims and stuff. A lot of them camp at so many unexpected places. They want to pick you off. They want to take you out. So you want to make sure you are checking everything. Like you want to make sure you check everything before you peek and then you take them out. Now, I know this is, this is more of an, an advanced step. I'm gonna take it down a little bit, a notch. So what I'm gonna talk about is where do you cro put your crosshair? So first of all, you know, a lot of people place their crosshair down like this. And I have, I have a younger brother and I ask him why he does that, why he keeps his crosshair down. And he says it's because of his crosshair. It's too big or it, he doesn't like it that it's just on a screen. So he wants to keep his view completely open so he can see everything. And so I explained to him like, would it be better like to keep it like that? And I explained it and he understood what it meant. But what I understood is a lot of people keep it down because of the crosshair. They don't like it being up in the middle or something like that. They like to have a full on screen and they can see everything. So make sure you guys keep your crosshair at the head level. And I don't know how many times I've said this. A lot of people ask me, hey, I want tips and tricks on how to improve. All you have to do is aim at their heads. Like, Try to keep it above their head because once you meet them, your aim assist kind of slowly drags it down. And once it drags it down, you, you're shooting right away and you hit their heads. The thing is, like, I don't know. I've, I've encountered so many people in the game, right? I played against so many people and my aim assist always drags down to their heads or their chest. It never, like, like it, it does kind of drag to the foot or the hands or whatever, but it's mostly to the chest. So it would kind of drag it down. So once you start shooting, all you have to do is to drag down and it does the rest for you. A lot of people play with, uh, well, not a lot, but some people play without aim assist. And for you guys, try to drag it down. It's a lot easier because once you drag it down, you hit their heads. Easy peasy. Aim assist sometimes doesn't help you hit the heads. Playing without aim assist helps you hit headshots more. Like... What I mean by that, and that's the that kind of it's gonna be for another video maybe, but I have a lot easier chances of hitting headshots without aim assist, and the reason why is because I have my crosshair placed at their heads, you know. And once you have their crosshair, once you have your crosshair placed at their heads, your aim assist does not do anything because you have to turn it off, right? So once you turn it off, your aim assist can't do anything, and it's hitting their heads, and that's easier for you, right? But aim assist, of course, helps you control your aim and stuff like that. So that's for another video. So I'm talking about both sides. It's easy to hit headshots with aim assist, and it's also easy to hit aim headshots without aim assist. And uh, that might be for another video. It's just it's a really complicated situation to explain. But I hope you guys kind of get what I mean by that. So moving on to the next topic is basically if you guys have well if you guys have anything you want to talk about that we can actually have a discussion. We can talk about aim assist and without aim assist, like if it's easier, it might be a little bit hard, but it's like if you've played without aim assist for a while, you kind of understand that, hey, you know, your chance, you, you get some lucky headshots and you didn't even think you would hit that, you know, and those are those, those, they, they have those moments, they have those moments, they have those moments where you can actually hit those, so keep that in mind. Alright, so crosshair place, you want to always check, have your crosshair above, like anything Keep, their, keep your crosshair above. You want to make sure you work on it, practice it. It takes time to get used to, but once you get used to it, you'll be perfect. Like, I I don't know how many times I just came up, like, I was playing like this, right? I was holding an angle. You don't want to keep your crosshair like this, dude. You, honestly, you want to make sure you move your crosshair, move your aim. You want to make sure you have it, keep it steady, keep it moving, you know? You want to keep it like this. A lot of times, um, I had my crosser like this, for example. I don't have it pointed directly at the wall or in the middle of the wall 
or on the side of the wall or the very edge of the wall you want to make sure it's right here because you don't know if they're gonna pop out once they pop out you can just shoot right away and it's a lot easier trust me I've been there once you do that you you're able to hit your shot so keep that in mind you want to make sure your crosshair is a little bit off the walls because you know it takes a while for them to move out of there crouch and shoot and it's just it's easier for you so keep that in mind keep it checked you know work on it it takes a while just play death matches it, uh, trust me it will help you out a hundred percent it takes it takes a while but once you get that covered you just walk around and check things out sometimes you should go in a match and just try messing around with it you know try to play and check out your crosshair placement you know work on it check every corner you know check how it works you know there's sometimes where people crouch you also can just crouch and then you hit their heads easy just you got to make sure you work on your crosshair placement and once you get that covered dude you're gonna be a pro no time man so just keep it like this and you know, a lot of people will have problems with this part as well so again you just gotta keep your crosshair like this I have hit a lot of my shots and scrimmages and stuff like that against pro teams easy peasy like this just all you have to do is just play slow play like this and just slowly just take your time peeking you know and once you see that you just go pew 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 easy peasy I hope this video helped you guys out um, if you guys enjoy this video you know this helped you out let me know in the comments down below and um, yeah subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one let me know which next tip you guys want or like a trick that you guys want to learn you know something just let me know I'll see you guys in the next one peace